So if you have a diabetic cat, and you live in America, you could buy this crap at Walmart for $24. The insulin formulated for cats, that's still human insulin. It's just they make, they make it weaker. They make it a little weaker than human insulin, you know, designed for humans. So my cat was on Prozinc, and uh, the Prozinc um, was about $120. Yeah, it was about $120 and it's, uh, what is it? 40, let's see, 40, 10 mill, 100 units a milliliter. This is 100 units a milliliter. The other one is like 40 units a milliliter, but that doesn't matter. Um, but this is somehow two and a half times stronger now that Vestulin, I, I did research on, on the Vestulin. The Vestulin I heard killed a lot of animals a long time ago and that people were still having trouble with it. Well now the Vestulin I heard, it's a mixture of the fast acting and intermediate insulin. It's called 7030. Um, and then the R, the Nobelin R, they have Nobelin N, Nobelin R and the 7030. The Vestulin is, is a pet insulin and it's similar to the 7030, which is fast acting plus intermediate insulin. So those two, I would probably, the R and the 7030, I'd probably stay away from for your pet. For a human, it might work, but for a pet, I would probably stay away from that. Um, but I was mad because, uh, the vet wouldn't give me the, the pro zinc. Like they wouldn't just let me come pick it up when they already prescribed it to him three months previous. I hadn't been forgetting to give him his doses or anything. So it disappeared really fast. That one bottle of pro zinc disappeared, you know, in about three months. Cause I faithfully gave him my cat, you know, two doses a, a day or whatever, two shots a day. And that shit is like $120. The Vestulin is like 60, 60 or $70. But those two you can't get without a prescription. And for a year now, Walmart's been selling this without a prescription. Nobelin N, Nobelin R, and Nobelin 7030. And uh, so, well, my cat, his, his sugar gets to almost 700. You know, if you just let him eat kibble and didn't give him any insulin, it would get to almost 700. Um... So, you know, uh, even if I gave him some fast acting stuff, you know, it may be okay for him. But so far, I believe this is working just fine. This is called the intermediate. And the Prozinc is intermediate. But the Vestulin, I, was per I would personally stay away from because it murdered like a lot of dogs a long time ago. Some people said they're still having problems with it. The Vestulin. But this you can get over the counter at Walmart for $24. It's non-returnable. And um, yeah, they've only been selling this over the counter for a year. They've been selling it a long time, but over the counter only for about a year or a tad bit longer. And so this is basically two and a half times stronger than the Pro Z. Um, no, the vestulin, I don't know, because you'd have to do the math. But um, it's a really white, white, uh, it's really white and milky looking. I don't really want to take it out. It's white and milky looking. It does have the little rubber thing. I just wanted to make sure it had the little, little rubber thing, which I figured it probably did. Because it comes with an orange cap on it, but I just took it off and I'll just leave it off. But it's really milky and it's supposed to be like that because that first bottle of pro zinc actually uh wasn't um the first one wasn't very milky and then that second bottle i bought um it was a little milkier but not as milky as this one so um so so far i've just been trying to figure out exactly the dose i need to give him 
and I've been testing him. I've been like poking his ear. And so like, like last night, uh, well, I've been only give I've been giving him a unit and a half in the morning and a unit and half at night, but his numbers were still kind of high. So I gave him two units last night. He still ate some in the night. It's been 12 hours and I tested him and it was 307. And so this morning he already ate, it was 307 this morning. He already ate and everything. He ate fancy feast and then he ate some kibble. So since it was only 307, I only gave him one unit, a little, a little over one unit. And that should drop it in the 200s all day. And then I'll test it. I'll try to test him again tonight before I give it to him because if it's at least, you know, 250 or below, I'm probably not going to want to give him any because I want his to stay like maybe, you know, 200 to 250. Um, but yeah, so you could just do the math like that. Like, you know, last night when I tested it, it was 444 before he went to bed. So I gave him two units instead of like a unit or a unit and a half. So this morning it dropped 137 points. And so this morning it was 307. So you could just kind of do the math like that. And so since it was only 307, I only gave him a little over a unit. And that'll work on him all day long. And he'll still probably eat a little more kibble and stuff. And hopefully it'll stay, you know, in the 200s. And then tonight I'll test him. But if it's like, you know, 250 or below, I'm probably not going to give him any insulin. And tonight I'll go ahead and put the food up all night. Well, last night there was a little bit of food down. There wasn't a whole lot. But I know he probably, you know, ate a little bit of kibble. Just not a lot. But I'm going to try to always take the food up at night. But I just hadn't been doing that because I didn't know how this was going to in interact with him. But this shit is only $24. So, I mean, if I would have went to the vet the other day, you know, they would have charged me for office visit plus the testing, the $15 testing of his blood glucose plus $120 of the, the Prozinc. So this is working good. I doubt I'm ever going to try the Novolin R or the 7030 because this is working just fine. And the reason why I found out about this was because the guard at work, he told me his dog was diabetic and that he gave him this, his vet prescribed this because he knew it was cheap. He knew people could afford it and he gives his dog 10 units. And so that's how I found out to buy this at Walmart from that guard at work. But you know, if you call all around the vets here, they'll be like, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't say to go get the, uh, you gotta go to your vet. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, um, but what else was I going to say? Yeah, so basically this is, oh, if you're going to use this for, a, a, with a U40 syringe, of course, I'm talking about a U40 syringe, you know, with the two units and, and the one and a half units, not for the, well, I mean, for, for the U40, I mean, the U100 syringe, you know, you would have to look to see what their one unit or two unit is on there. But like I said, this is supposedly, uh, two and a half times stronger. So, so far I haven't given my cat any more than two units, according to the U40 syringe. I'm using the wrong syringe, but that's easy. You could do that just as long as you know how to do the math. Cause with the Prozinc, I was have, having to start to give him more than three units on the U40 syringe. And with this, I'm only gonna have to give him probably no more than about two to two and a half. Because like I say, they say it's two and a half times stronger, but it may be more like just 50% stronger. But I am using the U40 syringes and you're supposed to be using the U100 with this insulin. Unless you do the math and then you can keep using your U40 syringes. But anyway, yeah, so go get you some of that and then you don't have to spend a lot of money on vets.